Okay, the next lock in our program, the inside-outside wrist lock. So just as the previous lock, we're going from the inside to the outside, only this time we will lock the wrist. So let's have a look at this technique, David. We're starting the lock again in an offensive way. So I'm going to do it as an attack. Notice one thing, when I did the previous lock, stepping forward with left, grabbing with left, and it's like a straight grab. Okay, so I'm starting this lock in the same way. Let me do it from here. One, step out, break the balance, under, grab, here. And I'm putting his thumb and index finger against my chest. If you can move forward a bit, here. Important is to lock the wrist as well. If, if I'm giving David freedom here, he can escape. So I'm keeping this hand here, keeping the forearm and the wrist locked together, here. And I'm not going to do this just with my hands, but by twisting from my waist and putting the lock up here. One more time. Let's do it a little bit closer from the side now. So he grab. Oh, sorry. I'm doing it as a grab. So I'm I'm grabbing here. One disturbing the balance. Stepping in here. And what I'm trying to do. So his thumb and his finger. My thumb and his finger go inside against my chest and turn upward here. Make sure that you stay behind his arm. So don't go looking like, oh, am I doing it right? Because you'll end up getting punched in the face. But here, one. Now if you want to control David, remember, we need either stack it or we need a base. So if I just stand here and turn it, David will just turn with me. One, two, three, four, doesn't really help. Partly my chest is my base here. But I can also take down and down and then lock him on the floor. Okay. Now let's look in the, at the lock in a defensive way. So down grabs, counter grabbing, and counter grabbing, stepping in, under. Now I've got the wrist from another angle. Before, in the previous one, I had the lock left hand up right hand in. Now I've got it, right hand up, left hand in. So now I'm reaching behind the ridge of his arm here. And I'm putting the, my thumb uh, near the knuckle of his index finger. There, one. And take him down in the same fashion. Okay, uh, now we have to look at something else. I'm counter grabbing. Actually what I'm doing, there's three things I can do. One, he grabs me, I grab him with my other hand. This is one. But I can also counter grab with my hand here. Or I can deflect this power first, like in the way of the flow steps here. So I'm directing his power. Now he like loses his balance. And then I'm either doing a direct grab or I'm doing a counter grab. So let's try the technique with the counter grab. He grabs me. Under, so I'm pulling my, I'm pushing my thumb under and grabbing. One, two, and lock. And now with the counter grab, I've got the lock back again in the same way when we were doing it in the offensive way. So let's look at the counter grab a little bit closer. He grabs, one, two. And I'm trying to stay as close to his wrist as possible. So don't try to grab his forearm, but here, the wrist. Breaking his balance, stepping under, and now I've already got his wrist locked quite tightly, here, up and down. Okay. You usually what you want to see when you make this lock is get him on his toes. And now you know that he's losing his balance. You can either push him away, or back here and then push down. Okay. So this is the inside, outside wrist lock. The next lock is going to be the wrist row and with the wrist row we're going outside 
inside. So let's look at that lock in the next lesson.